there's a big concept here in I didn't talk about this step in between now look <laughs> minus integral p external dv has been equated to minus integral p internal dv that means I have equated p external to p internal look this pv is equal to an RT is an ideal gas law this is applicable for gas inside the system I have an idle gas so uh, the pressure inside can be can be given by this equation PV is equal to NRT because the pressure inside is an idle gas the pressure outside cannot be given by this expression PV is equal to NRT because the outside pressure out, in outside I don't have idle gas I have idle gas only inside my system so PV is equal to NRT is not applicable for surrounding PV is equal to NRT is applicable only for the system so I can write P as an RT by V only in for an idle gas because this is an idle gas equation and I have idle gas in my system. So I can replace only P internal with an RT by V. I can't replace P external by an RT by V because P external, externally you have some other gas. You Maybe you will be having real gas. So you can't replace P as an RT by V in case of a real gas. You can replace it only in case of idle gas and my system I have an idle gas. I have already told you. So I can replace P internal by NRT. So f when you transit from here to here, I don't have any trouble and none of you will can have any objection because P internal can be replaced by NRT by V because this is an ideal pressure and idle pressure can be replaced by NRT by V using idle gas law. But this P external directly cannot be written as NRT by V because P external is from a real gas and real gas do not follow PV is equal to NRT. So you cannot use this equation for P external unless P external is equal to P internal. If P external is equal to P internal and P internal is equal to NRT by V, then P external can be replaced by NRT by V and then we can follow on this integration. Absolutely fine. But the trouble is P external is not always equal to P internal. Suppose this piston is coming down with certain acceleration. That means there is an imbalance of force. If piston is coming down with certain acceleration that means the external pressure is greater than internal pressure there's an imbalance in pressure and if external pressure is greater the piston will move down and when the piston moves down with considerable acceleration and velocity then there is a considerable difference in p external and p internal p external and p internal are not equal if they would have been equal then piston would have not moved there would have been a forced balance now if the piston is moving that means if it is moving down P external is greater if it is moving up P internal is greater so if at all it is moving in no case P external can be equal to P internal there will always be a difference so this is step going from here to here when I am writing replacing P external by P internal I can't do this I can't do this because if the process is fast if the process is happening with a considerable rate P internal cannot be equal to P external P internal and P external will be only equal when the piston is at rest it is not moving at all that means no process is happening at all now strictly speaking when the piston will not move only then P internal and P external will be equal but before studying this topic we studied reversible and irreversible process and here the use will come down we see we have seen that the process which takes in finite time to complete is called reversible process and the process takes infinite time to complete because there is an infinitesimally small difference in the external and internal pressure due to that very very small difference the piston moves very very slow so if there's a very very small difference I can do this approximation that P internal is equal to P external there will be infinitesimally small difference between P external and P internal in a reversible process that's why reversible process takes infinite time to complete so if the process is reversible process then this approximation that P external is equal to P internal is a valid approximation is 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 mathematically correct approximation because the error in this will be infinite similarly less so if the process is reversible then I can do this transition from here to here because P internal will be approximately equal to P external so this this transition is valid only for reversible process only for reversible process
if the process is irreversible then this transition is not allowed because p external cannot be approximated as p internal there will be some finite gap in them and here if you don't allow this transition you cannot write an rt by v into dv so we 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 cannot app we cannot make any changes in this p external into dv so we cannot do the integration so as you can feel if the process is irreversible process then we cannot make any transition we cannot use pv is equal to nrt and we cannot do the integral as well we cannot solve the integral as well so we cannot calculate technically the work unless it happens to be isobaric process if it happens to be isobaric process pressure will be constant it will be taken out of the integral and there is no problem at all inside the integral you only have dv and you integrate that dv as delta v that means v final minus v initial and it will be this p into v final minus v initial so if the if the process is isobaric there is no problem of integration at all you just bring pressure outside the integral and but if it is not isobaric and it is not isochoric as well and it is isothermal process and if it is not reversible that means you cannot replace p external by p internal then there is no way that we can solve this integral that means there is no way we can calculate work for isothermal irreversible process right so in our scope of discussion we cannot solve this integral so we'll be talking only about reversible processes in which p external can be replaced by p internal so that i can use pv is equal to nrt and then in place of p i'll just use nrt by v and integrate this so this will be my final formula this is a important formula of this chapter you must know this formula all right so that's all about isothermal process work done in an isothermal reversible process is minus nrt into ln vf by vi if it is an irreversible process then this formula is not valid and i hope you understand now very well why it is not valid let let's move on down to the fourth kind of process that is adiabatic process in adiabatic process all we know is the heat exchange will is not allowed that means dq is zero in this process so if i have to calculate work there's no way on this earth i have to start from this formula this is the mother formula w is equal to minus p x minus integral p external into dv now if i do the same thing as i did before suppose this is also a reversible process so i replace p external by p internal and after replacing it by p internal i use the ideal gas equation to eliminate pressure i wrote nrt by v and i have to integrate this in terms of dv now here we are not lucky as before to have this temperature constant so that we replace so that we replace so that we bring this temperature out of the integral and we integrate just one by v into dv we can't do this here because temperature is not constant the temperature cannot cannot be brought outside the integral so inside the integral you have two variable quantities you have temperature and you have volume both and the integration is in terms of volume and t cannot be integrated in terms of dv and if you having if you if you are doing the integration in terms of volume the whole of the integral must be in terms of volume and the whole of the integral is not in terms of volume because this temperature is there creating a problem for us because of this temperature this integration cannot be done because t by v cannot be integrated in terms of v because temperature cannot be integrated in terms of volume so again we are in trouble fortunately fortunately there exists another relation for adiabatic reversible process apart from pv is equal to nrt this is the relation and the proof of this will be looking in the next section p v k power gamma is a constant now the point to be noted is as we'll be looking in the proof this is valid only in k for an ideal gas in reversible adiabatic process the gas has to be ideal because in deriving this equation we'll be using pv is equal to nrt and pv is equal to nrt if you are using obviously the gas has to be an ideal gas and apart from being an ideal gas the process has to be reversible it will not hold true for irreversible process you know reversible is important because if the process is reversible only then we can replace p external by p internal and it has to be adiabatic process as well 
So PV key power gamma is a constant for a reversible adiabatic process in case of an idle gas. This is a very important result that we have to be engraved deep into our skull. Now, uh, now, now I can, now I can, uh, I can come out of this difficult situation that was imposed on me. Now, what I can do is, this is a reversible process. Then I can replace P external by P internal, and that P internal can be replaced by K by V key power gamma. This I can do. So what I would do is, in place of P external, I brought here P internal, and in place of P internal, I brought here K by V key power gamma from this expression. P V key power gamma is a constant from this expression. So inside the integration, I have a constant this K. This k can be brought out of the integration very easily, and inside the integral, I only have one by v k power gamma, and one by v k power gamma can be integrated very easily in terms of volume. Gamma here is Poisson's ratio. Gamma gamma is C P by C V, and I I hope you know what C P and C V are. So gamma is C P by C V, and in case you don't know, then we'll we'll see later. We'll see later, but for now. Gamma is C P by C V, and uh, now now I can do this integration. Now I can do this integration very easily. I I did the integration. If you integrate one by V K power gamma, it will be V K power minus gamma plus one by minus gamma plus one. So if you put up the limit, this will be the formula that will be generated. And uh, I don't want this constant. I don't want this k to be appearing here. So you, when you multiply this k into V K power minus gamma. From here, you can see, we can see this is written k into v k power minus gamma. This is p. So uh, k into v f k power minus gamma will be p f, and k into v i k power minus gamma will be p i. So this can be replaced as p f v f minus p i v i by gamma minus one. Here it is. Uh, uh, this this minus is there, and in the denominator will get. Minus gamma plus one, so uh, clapping both will get gamma minus one. So here is the formula. And this can also be written as n r t n r delta t by gamma minus one. All right. So this is the formula, and uh, this is another important formula that we have to remember. That we have to learn how to derive this. the the important expression that we have used in this derivation is p v k power gamma is a constant and this is the final formula all these four formulas are very important particularly the formula for isothermal process and adiabatic process is most important formula for calculating work